Okay, we can get started with this child's pose. Take a moment just to feel your forehead making contact with the floor. You can deepen that with a sigh or some type of vibration or breath. There can be a healthy amount of anticipation in the body for movement. We can allow that to continue to grow and continue to build. Notice places that are already dropped. Places that have found their way to the mat. They've already had a connection with the floor. And it's, it's almost like just kind of this nice maintenance of breath moving in and out. And what's already been let go of is just finding more and more layers to that. More and more layers of the same thing. One of the great things about our yoga practice is that rather than having to go outside of ourselves for the truth, we go deeper within ourselves and allowing ourselves to go more and more inward and see more and more layers just gives us more and more awareness of the truth. How we might discuss the truth can vary from person to person, from belief system to belief system. But I find it all comes back to this presence and this knowledge of presence that we are here living, breathing, and we are conscious of it. So as we allow each shape to show up, we'll allow ourselves to wear the shape almost like we're wearing an outfit. We try it on, we get to feel it in our space, even becoming the shape, right? and then letting it go. We'll continue that process of building, rinsing, and then repeat. And if it would happen, that along the way you find a little pocket of joy or stillness or something that is just enhancing your time here, both in the class and just in your day, then we can celebrate that this journey was worth it on some level. Let's take a collective breath to get things started. If it's available to you, just exhale the breath out, get really, really empty there. And take a big full breath in once you find the breath out. Give yourself a big exhale, let it go. And identifying the parts of your body that are still resting, allow them to rest. We'll find movement from the fingertips. The fingertips can start to wiggle or tap. And then you can use that to extend your elbows off the mat, crawling your hands forward. Find that point where it's at its maximum amount of stretch, but still it's in child pose. Lift just your head up, stretch your neck, take an inhale. And on your exhale, relax your forehead back down to the floor. We'll do that two more times. You can lift your head up, breathe in, find that bit of elevation. And on the exhale, soften it back down. Last one, inhale to lift your head. Exhale to soften it back down to the floor. On your next inhale, tabletop position, shoulders come on top of wrists. Look at your right hand, then look at your left hand. Look at the right side of the wall. Look at the left side of the wall. Look at the right corner of the ceiling. Look at the left corner of the ceiling. Look straight up in front of you. Round your spine, look straight behind you. Continue to move at your pace. You can look right, you can look left, up, and then down. It's almost like a zigzag or a thunderbolt. You can even let it get blended and start to roll through hips. Shoulders, neck. Maybe something in the body is getting its good morning. Good morning, shoulders. Good morning, hips. What up, spine? 
Breathing in and breathing out. For the front of the wrist, turn the fingertips the opposite direction. Open some space there. Continue to find some movement in your spine. Your fingertips can come back forward once you're ready. Let your right leg extend behind you. It can stay on the mat. Just shift your weight a little front and backwards. And then we're going to spin the right heel down, right arm up, side plank. Good. Let the right hand swing down and then forward, coming to frame your face. Keep rolling some space open in the chest. If you feel up for it, you can float the right leg off the mat. Reach the limbs apart. We'll give it one more big breath in here. And on the exhale, back into tabletop. Hand and knee, find the floor. The left leg, you can extend it straight back to the floor. Shift the weight a little side to side there. Notice shoulders over wrist, notice hips over knee. And then we're coming to side plank. Back heel down, left arm goes up. Really support it here with the right hand. You can reach your left hand down and then forward to frame your face. Scooping some space out the low spine, reaching it through the fingertips. But if you want to float the left leg up, you can float it up here. Give it one more inhale, breath moving in both directions. And on the exhale, back into tabletop position. Good. From tabletop, look forward, arch the spine, cow pose. From here, tuck your toes, work your hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can pedal out the feet a little bit. Uh huh, uh huh. Shake out the head, left and right. No more tension. Maybe bend both knees at the same time. Let the tailbone tip up. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale, straighten your legs and roll yourself into upper push-up plank. From upper push-up plank, drop your knees to the mat. Lower your chest all the way down. Stretching your chin forward. Untuck your toes. Slide your hips into the mat. Lift your spine up for cobra. You can look a little right and left and then back to center with the spine. Pin your shoulder blades back, pull your elbows back, give it one more inhale. And on the exhale, hips towards your heels, child's pose. Once you've exhaled in your child's pose, come back into downward facing dog, shoulders over wrist, hips high the sky, push both hands evenly into the mat, Float your right leg up to the ceiling. Let's stay here for a few cycles of breath. First, lift your left heel up a little bit higher so this can float your right leg higher. Keep your right leg high. Relax your left heel towards the floor. Just let it soften. Push both hands super evenly and take an inhale that pushes your chest towards your thighs. Right leg keeps going up. Bend your right knee, open through your hip, and you can circle it out. Give yourself some free form movement here. Feel free to move out through the hip, shake out the leg. You can even give yourself a few hops. Finding some freedom in the right leg. Give it one more inhale, extend the right leg high once again. Bring your right knee to tap your right elbow. Think of this as a way to help open some space in the hip. We'll do it two more times. Inhale, straighten through the right leg. Right knee to right elbow, opening the hip as you shift the weight forward. Again, inhale, right leg high. 
Last one, right knee to right elbow. We'll hold it here for five. If you want to do a little extra, you can lower down halfway. If you want to do even more and you want to float the left leg, you can. We've got this for two. We've got this for one. On your next inhale, re-lift your right leg up to the sky and step it through between your hands. Nice. You can shift the weight a little back and forth, get into your hips. It might feel nice to straighten and bend the leg a little deeper. Breathing in and out. Good. Next time your right knee is bent, stay there for an inhale. And on your exhale, step the left foot forward, forward fold, head heavy. Let's take an inhale for a half lift, big breath in, shoulders back. And on the exhale, release, fold forward, nice. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And then hands can come by the sides. Like a giant rock in the middle of the ocean. Just imagine you're unbothered by the waves, the wave of breath, any excess thoughts leaving the body. Clear about at least one thing, that you're here right now. Remind some weight into your heels. Inhale, reach your arms up. And on the exhale, release down to the floor, forward fold. You can give it a little Friday shake. Maybe sway it out. And then we'll take a half lift here. Big breath in. And on the exhale, release, fold. Step your legs back. Find a nice long plank. And in plank, you can drop the knees once again. Lower your chest to the mat. Untuck the toes, push the hips into the floor, cobra pose. Lifting through the chest. Again, look right. Look left. Look forward. And then release into child's pose, hips to your heels. This can be a great indicator of taking your own time. Once you've completely exhaled in child's pose, once you've given yourself the time to, then shift yourself back into down dog. Springboarding, springboarding it back up, allowing for that lift in the hips. We'll stay here for a few cycles of breath. Every time you inhale, lengthen your sternum. And every time you exhale, press your sternum towards your thighs. Every time you inhale, really press through your knuckles and fingertips. And when you exhale, rotate the armpits in towards each other. Good. These are great across the board. Let's go ahead and lift the left leg up to the sky. Left leg lifted. Let's stay here for one extra breath. Exhale it out. Shush it out. Get really empty with your breath. <sighs> Lift it as high as it can go. Bend your knee. Open up through your hips. Circle it out. <sighs> Give yourself some free form movement. Anything that is just calling to you on this side. You could wiggle out the toes. You could shake out the leg like it owed you. Give yourself some freeform space there. Yeah. Inhale, lift through the left leg. Let it go straight. Bring left knee to left elbow. Think of yourself sliding the hip open, sliding that weight forward. Two more times. Inhale, extend through the leg. And the left knee to left elbow, shifting forward. Last time, left leg long, breathing in. Left knee to left elbow, letting it hold here. If you want to do a little bit more, you can lower down halfway. If you want to try to float the legs, you can put the right elbow into the right hip to float. We've got this for three, two. Inhale, the left leg back up to the sky. Step the left foot through between your hands. 
And again, just a little bit of movement front to back. If doing knee to elbow is like work, then this can be a little bit like play. All of it can be a little bit of work, a little bit of play. Next time your left knee is bent, just take an inhale there. And on your exhale, step right foot forward, forward, fold. Good, from there, half lift, inhale. And on the exhale, release, forward, fold. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And the hands can come down by the sides. Squeeze your fist, ball up the fist, compress the energy, take an inhale, spread your fingertips, open your hands, expand the energy. Lead with your fingertips, inhale, reach up to the sky, reach up like you're going to touch your ceiling, go back maybe, take an arc. We'll meet in that forward fold, take your time to release, take your time to let it go. Inhale, half lift, long spine, big breath in. And on the exhale, fold. Step back into your plank pose. Give yourself a moment to make it a really awesome plank. The legs long, they're doing the leg work. The shoulders are still stacked. They're doing the arm work. Take an inhale, push away from the floor. And on the exhale, knees down, lower all the way to the mat once again. Untuck your toes for cobra pose, lift through the chest. And this time you can circle out the body a little bit, move your torso in a circle, almost like you're going along a clock. Rolling from the weight, falling into the left hand and left hip, rolling it to the right, falling to the right hand, right hip, circling it out. We got this direction for three, two, and then take it the opposite direction for 10. A lot of it in the low back. If you were to even lift your hands up, there's still room to kind of shift. Not as much, right? But you know that the back is doing some other work here. For three, two, child's pose, hips to your heels. Let's take a new, fresh breath in here in child's pose. Take an exhale, follow the breath to completion. Follow the breath out the back door, around the corner. Where's the breath, where's the exhale going off to? Look forward, tabletop position. Roll your shoulders on top of wrists. Nice, let's take the right leg, extend it back. Start to circle out through your right hip, roll it open. Good, we're gonna come back into side plank. If you wanna keep the right leg in the air, keep it lifted. Just reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. If you wanna reach the right arm forward, re-reach the right arm forward. Pull your heel away from your hand. Extend your hand away from your heel. Take one more inhale here. And the exhale, hand down, knee down, tabletop position. Left leg, circle it out behind you, roll it open. Give it some space. Good, and from here, left arm up towards the ceiling. Support it, side plank. All right. Let your breath push in and push out for two cycles. Inhale, push it in. Exhale, push it out. One more cycle. Let's meet back in tabletop position. Cat cow tilt, arch, round, arch, round. One more inhale in your cow pose. 
Let's take this into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, push the hips up, legs back. Pull out the feet, find that position. And then on your inhale, re-lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee open one more time. If you wanna flip your dog over, you can flip the dog, dropping the right foot to the left. Right arm goes to the sky, pushing up through the hips. Inhale, re-lift your right leg back up to the sky. Right knee to right elbow, let it touch. And then inhale, right leg to the sky. Right knee to left elbow, let it touch. And then inhale, right leg to the sky. Step the right foot through between the hands. And then again, you can straighten and bend through the leg. I find sometimes hopping the left foot a few inches back or crawling the right toes a few inches forward can widen that stance. So we'll stay here. Next time you bend your right knee, keep it there. On an inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Twist the chest open. Yeah, active through the left fingertips. I'm sorry, active through the right fingertips. Sending the right fingertips upwards. Let's take another inhale. And on the exhale, release right hand down to the floor. Look to your left and pivot your whole body to turn to the left. Hang your head heavy here and a wide legged fold. Letting the jaw relax, letting the head be lower than the heart for a moment. Let's take an inhale, half lift, big breath in. And on an exhale, fold forward, let it drop. Shift the weight a little side to side, bending your knees, rocking from side to side. And then turn your right toes back to the front of the mat, walk your hands to meet it. Let's step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Head heavy, inhale, half lift. Spine long, exhale, forward fold. Head heavy, and then inhale, reach up, go up, right into your back bend this time. Take it all the way back. You can follow it all the way down and forward, forward fold. Yeah, great. Interlace the fingers behind your spine, stretch through the elbows, roll your fist over your head. Take a big Buddha belly breath in. And on the exhale, release the hands, let it go. Half lift, one more time, long spine. And on the exhale, release, forward fold, let it go. Step your legs back into plank pose, shoulders on top of wrists. This time lower halfway, elbows stay in. Keep your knuckles pushing into the mat, upward facing dog. Use your inner thighs to have a lift to it. Let the underside of your butt squeeze forward. Pin your shoulder blades backwards. Take one more fresh breath in. On your exhale, down dog, hips high to the sky. On your inhale, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, bend your knee, open up through your hip. If you want to flip your dog over, you can flip the dog. Good, on the inhale, extend the left leg up to the sky. Left knee to left elbow, let it touch. Inhale, left leg high. Left knee to right elbow, let it touch. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to forehead, step it through between the hands. And again, shifting the weight a little forward and backwards, working into that hip space.
cool on this side let's just go ahead and turn look to your right and pivot your body you can bend a little deeper into the knees with skandasana bending your right knee left toes can lift you can bend your left knee right toes can lift just working into whatever is in your comfort zone Good. Next time you're passing through the middle, just take a half lift, long spine. And on the exhale, release into your forward fold. Turn the left toes to the front of the mat. Walk your hands to meet it. We'll stay here. Reach your left arm up. Take a twist. Good. Active through the left fingertips. Solid. Feeling for your right hip bumping up with your left. Nice, Oliver. Nice, Maeve. Release left hand down to the floor. Let it go. Look to the front of your mat. Step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Let's add a chair pose. Hips low. Arms up towards the ceiling. Just taking an inhale to charge up. Almost like it's a launching pad. You can stand up tall, reach up, go up, maybe back. You can take it down into a forward fold, let it go. Nice inhale, half lift, long spine. And on the exhale, release. You can step back or hop back into your flow. You could take Cobra or you could take Up Dog, Yogi's Choice. Once in that down dog, just taking it really active, shaking out the head, pelling out the feet, and then stillness. Right. Letting the activeness mix with the stillness. Let's take one more big breath in, and one more big breath out. Okay, inhale, right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee, open your hip one more time. If you want to flip it over one more time, you can. If you want to work on a few hops, then maybe hop and let the right leg float, left leg float. Hey, nice. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Bring right knee to right elbow. Keep it here. Maybe lower down halfway. And then push it back up. Right leg high to the sky. Bring your right knee to your left elbow for fallen triangle. Slide the right leg and reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Good. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Let it lift. Step it through between the hands. Awesome. From here, you can drop your left knee to the mat, untuck your left toes. Reach your arms up to the sky, take a back bend. If this is too much on your back with the arms up, you can bring your hands to your low back instead and find some support here. Slowly come back up. Turn your right toes out to the right. Place your right hand on the inside. Right toes angled out, right hand on the inside. Look over your shoulder for a twist. It's in these moments we let that breath catch up with us. One more inhale. One more exhale. And you can come back to center. Right toes turn back forward. Pop your left knee off the mat. Left toes are tucked. Reach both arms up to the sky. High lunge. Yeah. Now like your fingertips were helping the elbows go a little straighter, even if they go wider. We'll take an inhale here. On the exhale, warrior two, back heel down. Reach your arms apart. Good. For a moment, just cactus your elbows. 
find that place, you can just kind of soften through the shoulders. And then let both palms face up, extend your arms again. Straighten your right leg, both arms come up like you're clapping. And then sit back low, warrior two. Two more times like that, stretching the leg, give yourself a high five. Sitting low, last time, straighten the leg, high five. And sit low. Let your left hand wrap around you, grab for right thigh. Let your right arm reach up, reverse warrior, side stretch. One more inhale here. On the exhale, we're gonna reverse that right forearm to your right thigh. Reach your left arm to frame your face. So we're gonna reverse that again. Wrap your left hand behind you, reach your right arm up. You can straighten your right leg from here. Keep reaching back. And then release, hands down to the floor. Step your right leg back. Travel for a flow. Good, once you're setting dog, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Bend it open, find some space. And again, if you want to flip it over, flip it. If you want to take a few hops, you can take a few hops. Good, let's take an inhale, straighten the left leg. Left knee to left elbow, hold it here, lower down halfway. And then push it back up. Left leg high. Left knee to right elbow for fallen triangle. Sliding the left leg long, right arm goes up. Good. Great. Let's come into down dog split once again. Left leg up to the sky. Step it through between the hands. And once you're there, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. We can even give it an extra breath just to let the hips settle towards the left heel. Lingering in that pocket of space, take your back bend for low lunge, Anjaneyasa. Arms can go up, head can go back. If you need more support, keep pushing your toenails down. Keep squeezing through right glute muscle. Come back up gradually. Turn the left toes out to the left, left hand on the inside. Look over your shoulder, twist. You can take an inhale like you're pulling up something. Take an exhale like you're rinsing it down your back. Come back to center, toes turn back forward, pop the right knee up, both arms up high, high lunge. Mm -hmm. The same way your hands are able to like expand the fingers, think of your rib cage also expanding. It's okay if your shoulders go up a little bit, they're helping pull space out of the low back. We'll take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, warrior two, back heel down, arms reach apart. Good, from here, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Relax your jaw, settle in the hips. You can cactus the arms, arms pull apart, elbows can be bent. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, extend out the arms, palms still face up. Straighten the left leg, arms come up, palms press. Two more times on your own, sitting low and bringing it up. Sitting low and bringing it up. Next time you're low in your warrior two, just wrap the right hand behind you. 
reach the left arm up. Your right hand could be grabbing for your left thigh or your shirt or your fabric, whatever you're able to grab. We'll reverse this, left forearm to left thigh. Reach the right arm to frame your face. Let's do that three more times. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Reverse warrior. And side angle. We'll meet in reverse warrior. Right hand back. Left arm up. It's from there you can straighten the left leg, nice. From here, cartwheel the hands down to the floor. Step back, travel for your flow. Up dog, down dog. Yeah. Pelling out the feet. We're gonna take a slightly shorter down dog. So walk your feet in about six inches so the down dog is a little shorter. Taking a down dog twist. With your right hand, grab the outside of your left leg. Right hand grabs the outside of left leg. Look underneath your left shoulder for a twist. Keeping the leg sturdy, keeping the, the left leg even you know, firm. So you can pull yourself underneath your shoulder. One more inhale. And I'll exhale, release. Switch sides. Holding on to the right leg. Looking underneath the right shoulder. One more inhale, and exhale, head relaxed. Hand comes back forward. You can walk the rest of the way to the top of your mat. Take a half lift once you're there, let the top of the shoulders have their lift. And on your exhale, release, down fold. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, let your palms press. We'll stay standing, just release the hands by the sides. Bring your hands to your hips. Draw your belly in, almost like you got a corset on. And start to fold from your hips. Keep a long spine. If your spine starts to round, and it will for me, I'll bend the knees. Bend the knees so the spine can stay straight. There is a natural slope to the spine in some way, but trying to work from your hip length then the crown of the head fall once you're at the bottom. Let the hands fall to the sides. Good, from here we're gonna extend the left leg back like warrior three, the left leg shoots back. It's just a transition, let it find the floor for high lunge. Left foot finds the floor, arms come up towards the sky. You can open up for warrior two, back heel down, arms reach apart. Flip your right palm up, reach up and back, reverse warrior. Straighten your right leg. Keep the right leg straight, lift your body back up to center. We'll go into triangle, right hand forward and down. Left arm up towards the ceiling. A bind and triangle, drop the left hand behind you. Hand meets the inside of the right hip crease. Continue to peel your chest open. Roll your right thigh externally, roll it out to the right. Roll your chest up towards the ceiling. These are good. You might slightly tuck your chin about two inches. Mm hmm. Nice J&B, and then bringing the chin even inwards about two inches, long through the neck. Mm -hmm. Good, we'll take one more inhale, nice Marina. Release the hands to the floor. Look forward, left heel pops up again. Like warrior three, just lift the left leg up, let it float, 
and then step to the front of your mat forward fold head heavy take an inhale for a half lift once you're there feel for the length of your spine and then on the exhale release down forward fold with the right leg let it lift up extend it behind you warrior three like finding that float let the right foot find the floor arms up high lunge once again You might even close the eyes if, it, if you just want to trust your feet are finding their way. You close the eyes, you might wobble a little bit. You stay with the breath. The breath can find its way. Let's open up into warrior two. Back heel down, arms reach apart. Flip the left palm up, reverse warrior, side stretch. Straighten through your left leg, a little longer in that reach. We'll come into triangle here. Chest coming back up, left hand forward and down, right arm up towards the ceiling. <sighs> and feeling for it here. Think of the center of your chest getting to roll open. Yeah, yeah, really nice, Mallory. And then uh, drop the right hand behind you to take a bind. So it's this place from our navel that goes to our chest, the chest that goes to our collarbones, collarbones to throat, throat to our third eye, that has this like straight line that we're twisting open from. If you ever find you're overthinking it, everybody's actually doing it really well. <laughs> One more inhale. And on the exhale, you can release hands to the floor. Looking forward, right heel lifts. Float the right leg and step forward, forward fold. Once you're there, half lift, big breath in. And on the exhale, release, let it go. Chair pose, hips low, arms up towards the sky. Mm -hmm. And then take your left leg, kick back, warrior three. Left leg straightens and lifts, right leg just goes straight. Good, still balancing on this leg. Let's come into tree pose. Left foot comes forward. Left foot to the inside of the right thigh. All right, you can go above or below the knee, whatever works for you. And the arms, they can do the same. Good, let's bring hands to hips. Kick back into warrior three. And then from here, half moon. Right hand to the floor, left hip stacks on top. Option for the left arm, left hand arm. You can keep it either on your hip. If you wanna wrap it around you for a half bind, you can go for the inside right thigh and twist from there. If you have some other variation you wanna work on today, you can work on it today. Good. Find that lift from the inner left thigh that keeps the leg active. We're going to swing it back forward to chair pose. Left foot to the front, hips drop again, arms up to the sky. Nice. Warrior three, right leg kicks back. Hands can be however. And then tree pose. Bring your right foot to the inside of the left leg. and come to hips you can travel from warrior three into your half moon extending the leg back feeling for the length 
rolling right hip on top of left. Changing the angle, letting the foot calibrate. Part of the body is touching the floor, so let that part push in. Part of the body is floating away from the floor, so let that float up. Good, both feet together at the front for chair, legs squeezing together, hips low, arms overhead, let your palms push. Yeah, hands to heart center, twist right. Left elbow to the right knee. Few options here. If you wanna fly away, it's left hand down, right arm up. If you wanna bind, you can drop the right hand behind you, you can meet underneath. If you wanna take side crow, you can lean the weight to your right. Use your right thigh like a shelf against the right knees. Whatever you got, it's the hips that are lower than the heart, the heart's lower than the head. Nice, let's come back to center. Twist to the left, right elbow. To left knee. Take any variation that's speaking to you. You could fly away, you could bind, you could also side crow. Nice. I see y'all with the side crow fire. Let's come back to center. And then you can release, you can let that go fold forward. Separate the legs, hips width distance. Grab your big toes, point your elbows away from each other, fold yourself. Para Gustasana. Okay, you can keep holding on to your big toes. Just take a modified half lift, lift the chest up, inhale. And on your exhale, pull yourself more towards the shins. Let go of the toes. Turn your toes out. Sit the hips low for Malasana, squat. We'll hold Malasana, but if you'd like to take a twist in it, for three breaths on each side, you can do left hand down, right arm up, and breathe in and out. This might also turn into a bind. We've been working on binds today. Or it could stay heart center. Okay. You do three breaths on one side, you can do three breaths on the other side. If you're in Malasana, this can be a folk moment just to kind of let gravity support you. Letting gravity encourage the tailbone down. Then the ears perk away from it. Maybe there's an acknowledgement of the time you've taken, this time spent with self, but done collectively. Take a breath in. Take your breath out. Once you've brought hands back to center, just drop the hips to the floor, lift your shins up, boats pose, Navasana. It's that last bit of active work here. Try to keep the knees together. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower, lengthen, and hover. Then bring knees back up into chest. And then lower, lengthen, and hover. Now from here, bring your hands behind your head. Let your head drop to the floor, elbows on the floor. Legs are still lifting two inches off the mat. Let your right leg go up towards the ceiling. Your left leg stays. This might also help the back roll onto the mat a little bit firmer. Flex through your toes, long through the hamstrings, and then point through the toes. Switch legs, right leg down, left leg up. Oh. 
holding it. There's some tension that happens in the core, but it does not have to spread to the neck and the jaw. Switch legs. And then from here, bring your right knee into your chest. You can grab, your, uh, you can grab the underside of your knee. Let your head relax. The left leg still floating. Pulling the right knee in, take an inhale. Stay here for an exhale. Switch legs, left knee comes in, hug it in. Right leg extends out two inches above the mat. Slightly tucking the chin or at least or keeping your neck long. One more breath here. Good from here, bring, bring, bring both knees into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. And then take happy baby. Grab the outsides of the feet. Let's take a big Buddha belly breath in. And in the comfort of your own home, flutter out the lips. It's nice to do that at home. Can't do that at the park. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> but you can do it at home. Okay, keep your right foot as you have it. Just release your left foot down to the floor so you're in half happy baby. Just the right leg. I'm just being held now. Okay, now from here, bend your right knee back into your chest. We're gonna take a twist. Right knee across the body over to the left. If you wanna add more here, you can Grab your right foot with your left hand. You can let your right leg go straight. Look over the right shoulder for this twist. And then let the twist work for you. Come back to center, take your time. Right knee gets to squeeze in. Then let the right leg go. Bring the left foot up for happy baby, half happy baby. Grabbing outside of left foot. We notice when we're on our backs that when we breathe, it can fill up the front of the belly and also can fill up the back. Good, left knee squeezes in, twist, left knee across your body. If you want to add more, you can again straighten the left leg, right hand can take a hold of that left foot. One more inhale here. One more exhale here. Come back to center. Give the left knee a good squeeze. And then release left leg long. If you like one more hip opener, you can bring the sole of the feet to touch. Knees can fall apart. If there's any other posture you'd like to finish off with, let this last 30 seconds to a minute be about the road to Shavasana. So whether you're doing more postures or whether you're already in Shavasana, letting these last moments be like setting the table for your final rest. Allowing everything to be placed where it feels suited and then letting go of the personality 
the ego, the spark um, that has preferences. Allowing all that to dissolve temporarily in a cosmic awareness. Give it one more full breath in. One more full breath out. It might start with something as small as a finger or a toe. You can incorporate movement into the body as you see fit. several moments thereafter you find the legs or the arms move maybe there's a full body movement a stretch of some kind <laughs> you can even roll yourself to a side use your hands like a pillow taking some rest right there can linger in any of these spaces will eventually meet in a seated position. Acknowledging the time, energy spent, gratitude for the self for showing up. I also want to just thank you from me 
for showing up. Such a mood booster, such an elevation to the week to see everyone in here practicing. Um, my information's right there if you need to reach out or anything like that. Um, yeah. Until next time, just thank you so much. Namaste.